Hello, Randall Monk and Ron of Zane here. We're going to talk about the infinity breath today. And Michael tells us, well, doesn't he tell us that if we do nothing else, this is enough? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a powerful breath, breathing technique. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we bring our attention to our heart center, and uh, or you could say your solar power center, and that includes your solar plexus up to your throat, but you can just consider your heart area if you want. We bring our attention there and bring forth the feeling of love and that expansiveness that, that uh, we get from that. And now some people have a problem uh, being, bringing forth the feeling of love. So you can think of someone you love or some place you love or some animal you love. Anyway, bring forth that feeling of love. And then as we inhale, we take that energy out through the back, uh, through the back, uh, well, it comes up and goes out through the, uh, just below the, uh, the 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 uh, the um, what am I, well yeah well it goes through the medulla of God and out, out through the, the out through the ascension chakra otherwise known as the mouth of God but it's that little hollow place you might say just below yes. your yes. skull there so we inhale and it goes out there and loops over the head and comes back down into our solar power center and that's on the inhale and then as we exhale it goes down through the root chakra looping back up into our solar power center or our heart area you might say so inhaling up over the head exhaling down through the root and that's the infinity breath you can put a still point in between there's a lot of places you can put a still point you can go and still point there yes and then exhale still point there or you could do and the still point after a f complete one, there's a lot of ways to put that still point in there. But yes. Yeah. And even 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 putting a little pressure, you know, I mean, there's uh, mm -hmm. we have a number of different ways yeah. to work, but still yeah. get it started, get yes. it doing. It is so very. Yeah. It's, it's vital to your <laughs> yeah. your life force energy. I will tell you, both of most of you know uh, my age and my oxygen level is about ninety six percent, and that is because. Of the breathing exercises they the last time i had had a test the lady says are you a singer i mm -hmm. said no why she <laughs> says your oxygen level is absolutely amazing and i said that's because i i that's, that's what i teach it's one of the things i teach the sacred breath yeah and she goes oh <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you uh, and I. Once you get used to doing that, I highly recommend that you do abdominal breathing or what's called a diaphragmatic yes, breathing, or yes, you know yes. the, that deep breathing where you fill your entire lungs, not just the upper part of the lungs. And you see, <clears throat> with what is happening now, you know, we're talking about drink lots of water, the ascension symptoms, how we're changing, how we're evolving. Just imagine that it's like almost like an illness, toxins in your body, or you have mm -hmm. negative, you've, you've taken in, in some way, viruses, or you've taken in something that is negative, alien, and harmful to the body. And so, what do we do? Now, we take, we take some kind of prescription or something, but this is ascension. This is like negative vibrational patterns is all through our body. The bloodstream is carrying it. The, but, and we're, but even, even when we breathe, it's going to an oxygenate our body. So why can't we understand that the most important thing now is lots of water, the sacred breath, and to refine, to refine our thought forms, you know, that everything has energy, everything has frequencies, and so Michael said, you have to love your negativity free. You, so why not when you're doing the friend? Why do you think Michael says, breathe in light, breathe out love? You're to take, when you do the breathing exercises, you are to take what you need first. That's the virtue of selfishness. You can't give away what you don't have. The first thing is to take what you need within your body. And then you breathe out the rest out into the world, to humanity, to the earth, to the world server pyramid, whatever. And then you focus, you do some more breathing, and you envision it moving all through your body, into the cells, organs, glands, bloodstream, all through your body, balancing, visualization. Someone said, what's the difference between active 
and, and passive meditation. Active meditation is building your vision, stating your what you want your world, what you want to create within great detail and with great feeling. And we always ask for my highest good and the greatest good of all, this or something greater. In that way, you're in harmony and attunement with your divine blueprint. And then, then you stay quietly and listen for the answer, or you do the infinity breath to activate with adamantine particles, breathe in light, breathe out love, you're activating the adamantine particles that are then going out into your creator wheel, going out in the infinity breath and building your future. What a magnificent gift. And it isn't difficult, it just takes discipline, belief, desire, and the will. And it works, we know it does. It's your path home. It's the vehicle of ascension. It's the vehicle of refining your body and becoming more kind. You still have, we all have all of these tests to overcome. They're all different. We have no idea what the people around us brought forth with them. No one has any idea what's what I've experienced already, but we all have our unique divine blueprint, our past, our lineage, our delightful, wonderful miracles and things we've accomplished, and all the negativity and imbalances and mistakes. No one is any different. They all came forth in the same way, and we're going back in the same way. So let's do this together. We can give you the tools, we can give you the understanding, but like Michael says, I'll walk beside you, I'll guide you, direct you, and inspire you, but you must do the work. Well, one benefit, by the way, of the uh, infinity breath as well is uh, to it helps to access higher dimensional levels of your brain. So uh, practice, practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. Much love from our hearts to yours. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye for now.